Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chapter 7 Podcast on the Atmosphere. You should have your notes out. As you watch the podcast, please add to and revise your notes. Any questions you may have on parts that you don't understand should be listed in your notes with a question mark so you can answer the questions once you return to class. This chapter's essential question is, how do air pressure and temperature vary in the atmosphere? Remember, this question is to be used as a filter to help you decide what information should be contained in your notes. Does the weather where you live change often, or is it fairly constant from day to day? Weather is the condition of Earth's atmosphere at a particular time and place. Earth's atmosphere is the envelope of gases that surrounds the planet. From space, atmosphere appears as a thin blue layer near the horizon. The atmosphere is made up of a mixture of atoms and molecules of different kinds. Earth's atmosphere is made up of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, water vapor, and many other gases, as well as particles of liquids and solids. As you can see in the graphic, nitrogen is the most common gas in the atmosphere. It makes up a little more than three-fourths of the air we breathe. Even though oxygen is the second most abundant gas in the atmosphere, it makes up less than one-fourth of the volume. When something burns, the fuel in the object combines with oxygen in the air to produce heat. This graphic is called the fire triangle. For fire to occur, all three sides must be present, air, fuel, and heat. Oxygen is the most important gas in our atmosphere. Without it, life as we know it would not be possible. Food is our fuel. The organism combines the fuel in our food with oxygen in the air to produce energy required for a living thing to live and grow. Each molecule of carbon dioxide has one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen. Carbon dioxide is essential to life also. Plants take in carbon dioxide from the air to make food. When plants and animal cells break down the food to produce energy, they give off carbon dioxide as a waste product. When fuels such as coal and gasoline are burned, they release carbon dioxide. Burning these fuels increases the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The remaining gases in the environment are called trace gases because only small amounts of them are present. So far, we have discussed the composition of dry air. In reality, air is not dry because it contains water vapor. Water exists in three states, liquid, solid, like ice, and gas, water vapor. Water vapor is invisible. The amount of water vapor in the air varies greatly from place to place and from time to time. Water vapor plays an important role in the Earth's weather. Clouds form when water vapor condenses out of the air to form tiny droplets of liquid water or crystals of ice. If these droplets or crystals become heavy enough, they can fall as rain or snow. Breathing brings air into your lungs where the oxygen you need is taken into your body, but not everything in the air is healthful. You may also breathe tiny particles or even small amounts of harmful gases. The air around you may contain what we call pollutants. Pollutants are harmful substances in the air, water, or soil. Some pollution occurs naturally. For example, many natural processes add particles to the atmosphere. Forest fire, soil erosion, and dust storms release a great deal of smoke or dust into the air. The wind carries the particles of molds and pollen. Erupting volcanoes spew out clouds of dust and ash along with poisonous gases. Most air pollution is the result of burning fossil fuels, however, such as coal, oil, gasoline, and diesel fuel. Almost half of this pollution comes from cars and other motor vehicles. Factories and power plants that burn coal and oil also release pollution. Burning fossil fuels produces a variety of pollutants, including carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, and sulfur oxides. The burning of fossil fuels can cause smog and acid rain. Rain is naturally slightly acidic but rain that, that contains more acid than normal is known as acid rain. How does acid rain form? The burning of coal that contains a lot of sulfur produces sulfur oxides, substances composed of oxygen and sulfur. 
Acid rain forms when nitrogen oxides and sulfur oxides combine with water in the air to form nitric acid and sulfuric acid. Acid rain is sometimes strong enough to damage the surface of buildings and statues. It also harms lakes and ponds. In the United States, federal and state governments have passed a number of laws and regulations to reduce air pollution. Many newer cars cause less pollution than older models. However, there are now more cars on the road and more power plants burning fossil fuel than in the past. Unfortunately, the air in many American cities is still polluted. Voluntary measures, such as greater use of public transportation in place of driving, could reduce the total amount of air pollution produced. This is the end of section 7.1.